Hello and welcome back everyone, and over here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, here with our Jedi Knight Venton Colas, and where we last left off, we had just uh, finished our time on Tatooine, disabling the shock drum, and rescuing Master QX. We're on our way to Alderaan, but we stopped off at the Republic fleet, because we've been uh, asked to lend our assistance with another situation. So, ah, that's the one. Let's uh, report in and see what's going on. This is Carrick Station on Emergency Response Corps Priority Frequency. Master Satil, do you read us? Excellent. You've arrived just in time. The people of Kadamimu are being held hostage by a criminal despot. Governor Chornarov was under investigation for corruption. He was about to be arrested by Republic officials when he declared his planet's independence. Politicians usually need the voters on their side for something like that. The governor enacted emergency powers and imposed martial law. The people of Katamimu have no say in this. Chonarov was able to seize power because of the Republic's missile arrays stored on his world, and the criminal army he's amassed. After Separatist forces were crushed on Ord Mantel, Governor Chornarov secretly offered their leaders and surviving troops asylum on Katamimu. Darth Angrel had a secret listening post on Ord Mantel. I got to see the civil war there up close. And you know what separatists are capable of. Unfortunately, they aren't our only concern. The missiles produced on Katamimu are supposed to supply planetary defense batteries along the Selenon Spur, a major trade route. Those worlds now lie vulnerable. Governor Chornarov has commandeered enough Republic planetary level weapons that a large scale invasion is impossible. The missile arrays would destroy our capital ships in orbit. We have no way to remotely shut down those missiles? That's just bad design. There were deactivation codes, but the governor's slicers disabled them. He's clearly been planning this for some time. I need you to restore the planet's defenses to Republic control. That will mean defeating Governor Chornarov's elite Separatist guards. The stealth-equipped assault shuttle is standing by. Your landing zone will be Kanamimu's capital industrial sector, close to the missile arrays. I'll get there as soon as possible. There is one last detail. Governor Chornarov is merely a corrupt politician. His private army's leader, General Ortal, is a mass murderer. Ortal sent thousands of innocent Ord Mantellians to their death. If you encounter that war criminal, bring him to justice. Hurry to Katamimu before the remaining missile defenses come online and our window of opportunity closes. May the force be with you. And now, because I think we've hit level 50, we can start master mode. We'll just do the veteran mode, which is what we've been doing with the other flashpoints so far. If that's what you want. Okay, so... We need to somehow regain control of the missile arrays protecting the planet. Somehow force the governor to turn himself in, and if we encounter the Separatist leader, General Ortal, um deal with him in a rather nebulous term if he puts up resistance well it would be such a shame if he was to uh, die of course veteran flashpoints what do you want to do Kadamimu perfect Join the queue, let's see how long it takes to find a party, and then be on our way. I didn't actually upgrading my item modifications. I was uh, wearing level 42 gear, and there was some level 48, but the next one's level 52, so I thought I'd just hang fire. I mean, apart from this flashpoint, it's not really going to matter so much. Ooh, three level 75s, a Vanguard, Commando... And um, maybe another Jedi Guardian? Oh, well, we have a lot of um, AoE potential in the two troopers. Let's uh, get ourselves on the way. So we're taking a stealth ship to the industrial sector, which is close to the missile batteries. Uh, 
but yeah, two Jedi Guardians. One trooper, one sorry, one commando. Right, let's get ourselves underway. Oh bloody hell. So we have these social adjustment droids. Pretty damn tough. He's not happy that he uh, got killed by it, but he did get focused down. It is a champion enemy. Heels here. This could be a, a bit difficult. Some of the parts, anyway. It's not so much the bosses. It's the uh, it's the journey to the bosses. Oh, nice. Falling damage to kill it. This elevator is extremely fast. Oh, did you switch over to healing spec? Hmm, maybe they did. My fellow citizens, the coming days will be difficult. You will hear lies about civil unrest, about attacks on our soil. But our world is protected. Not just by our arsenal, but the Academy nice. and Guard patrols the streets oh, to keep God. them safe. Someone screwed up. Try to like avoid these pulls, but oh well, didn't go too badly. No one died that time. Oh, there's someone else. Who else did you pull? Oh god damn, a social adjustment droid. Really? Oh Jesus. Um. Well, this is awkward. Don't really want to get close. Pulling two champion enemies at once, that would have went um, went horribly. Right, the next pull is the most uh, difficult, I think. My people do not listen to the lies on the Hollowlid. There are no riots in the mercantile district, and the missile batteries are perfectly safe. Ah, bugger. We tried. Oh, 
governor speaking in the background as well. This is the next, this is the most difficult call. Oh dear god, you crazy man. Up to the first boss. Officer Xander and EN4C. Xander's the one we need to defeat. The droid can be dealt with in one or two fashions. the droid, but if it touches you, it uh, imprisons you for a while. There's two ways to get to the miss missile command center, the normal route, or you can slice this uh, other police cruiser, which uh, lets you bypass a few of the enemies. Turn up, kind of. Uh, I'll probably show you. Fellow citizens, some of you have questions. Turn the like around of there. The Academy and God. You ask, why have we recruited off-worlders? But I say, if a man like General Ortol wants to fight for our planet, it would be selfish to deny him that privilege. Just waiting for. The commando to join us. Let's take on this droid while we're waiting since it is patrol. Sneaking up behind us anyway. to get ahead of everyone. Hmm. 
Seems to be enemies spawning here as well. Oh, we got a complete five veteran flashpoints, a weekly uh, mission. Oh, the enemies are respawned. the second boss. Oh, the Evergenic Guardian has fallen. We have a Wookiee with a flamethrower. Captain Gimrick. through it? Okay. Hopefully the, uh, <laughs> the Evangelic Guardian can make it along here with us. This uh, elevator takes a while. General Urto to all forces. The command center is under attack. Do not let the enemy take control of the missile batteries. Guardian's gonna make it, he just has to wait for the elevator to come back down. He's still under attack. There we are, perfect. That'd be days. Uh, this can be another fun and pull. Uh, people appear on the upper levels, on the ramps. Oh shit, you want us to run through it? Oh, oh, oh yes, you can just run through this, can't you?
This is actually the final boss room. But if we wait all the way back here, the enemies there start resetting. This is the logistics computer for the missile batteries. Skip through it, but you have a choice of using the missiles to uh, hit an uninhabited moon, or you can target the Imperial fleet that's just appeared in system. Uh, let's target the Imperial fleet. Oh, and we actually uh, chose to do it. <laughs> we rolled the highest there. sense of weakness so they sent their fleet in. And he has a General Autol. And there's a missile uh, silo. I fought in the war, you piece of trash! You think I'm afraid now? This guy can hit quite hard. batteries are disengaged and the governor's shuttle just became vulnerable. Pull the cleanup to us. Oh. What is it? The governor's shuttle. He was actually trying to leave the planet. <laughs> there we are. Mission complete. Missile batteries are now reset. General Autol is defeated. And the governor's again picked up by the Republic fleet who just jumped into the system. Happy days. All in all, I'd call that a success. Master Satil, this is Carrick Station reporting. What's the situation on Katamimu? Better than we hoped, thanks to you. Governor Chornarov was captured and his Separatist allies are surrendering to our forces. That war criminal you wanted brought in made the mistake of trying to stop us. General Ortol won't be hurting anyone else. I'd have preferred putting him on trial, but at least he didn't escape. Not only did you liberate Katamimu, you thwarted an Imperial invasion. We detected an enemy fleet dropping out of hyperspace at the system's edge. When the Imperials saw we commanded Katamimu's missile defenses, they retreated. Had they captured that world, dozens of systems would have been threatened. Maybe the governor planned to join the Empire. Chonarov would never have turned over power. 
but it's possible his separatist friends had other plans. It will be some time before Karamimu's government is restored. Until then, we'll maintain the peace. Enjoy your respite from the fighting. I'll be in touch. May the force be with you. Okay. Ah, nice amount of experience there. Um, yeah. Complete any of these veteran flashpoints. Okay, sure, why not? Keep that in mind. Uh, right. Oh, level 51, I forgot. Uh, right, we have our last utility point. As I say, we'll probably get unremitting to stop us, uh, to give us a four second immunity to a movement impairing effects. Uh, effects that push or pull us around, which is actually really useful. Goes well with the uh, stun defense that we now have. Otherwise, what else would I grab? Area of effect damage is reduced. Combat focus. Uh, no, that's fine. Focus defense. No, we'll take unremitting. And then we'll finally be able to unlock the heroic uh, like utility tree at level 59. Okay. Good to know. Uh, no, no, we never got level 52, unfortunately, so no item modifications to play with right now. But to be fair, we're going to be going to Alderaan next, so we're going to be level sync down to level 34 or something anyhow. Let's uh, get ourselves back on board the Defender. And see if we fancy doing a few uh, space missions once again. I mean, we still have some grade 5 upgrades. I've never seen if there's any new ship upgrades for beyond the main storyline or level 50's it. I mean, I haven't even looked on the Galactic Trade Network. You know, we could do that now to uh, sate my own curiosity. Is there higher than level 50 ship upgrades? Uh, bump, bump. No, there is not. Okay. Oh, we actually picked up an implant there. Um, ah, it's a shield. Absorption and defense. Ah, that's a shame. Oh, well. Kira would like to have a word. I still haven't decided which way we're going to go. I'm just, just going to play it by ear. Uh, ooh, hello. Let's have a look. What's uh, new? Some of these... Must have been made available at level 50. Which ones were already there? Um, this one. Um, this one, I think. Right. Let's have a look. That's level 45. Okay. The Hydean Way Blockade in the seat of the Empire. Mandalorian mercenaries working for the Empire have laid an extensive minefield in order to blockade the Hydrian Way trade route and funnel Republic convoys into a deadly ambush. The mines must be cleared to reopen crucial supply lines. We need to disable a bay on board the mine layer, destroy the mine layer's engines, and punch your way through the mines. Which means, like, disabling 100 mines, maybe. Ah, uh, recommended we have grade 3 upgrades or higher. That's fine. Okay. So... Power to weapons, power to shields, and jam. Okay. We're taking fire from those mines. Ha! One less bad guy. Ooh, 150 mines we need to deal with. Don't 
targeting computers. Power the blasters again. It's not the melee, it's just a uh, Kira's right, it's just a carrier. Oh, now I was wondering why that didn't die. That's a plug six heavy fighter. Ow. Jesus. So we're taking pot shots at us so we can't even land a blow on it. Mind. Target down. I'm guessing that's the mind layer in the distance then. Ourselves up. Ah, not yet. Still seventy nine missiles remaining. Mines still left to uh, deal with. Any more is just a uh, bonus. Okay, that's the mines done. Done for disabling the uh, engines. Down. 
two minutes remaining. Still no uh, sign of a mine layer. We've seen it in the distance, but we haven't had a chance to uh, engage it directly. Missile base gone. Sorry, not missile base, the mine base. Well done, Ace. Gonna set up for another run. Nice. My layer's crippled. amount of experience there. At least 130,000. 150,000 too, until we level up. Hmm. Right. Let's have a look. The Drexel Sweep. Recommended grade 3 upgrades and higher. An elite Imperial fighter squadron has been launching devastating hit and run attacks on Republic convoys. The squadron has been tracked to an asteroid field in the Drexel system. Eliminating these Imperial fighters is vital to the Republic's war effort. Neutralize Ace Mark 7 interceptors. It's probably going to be a repeat of the Mark 6 interceptors in the asteroid field with the Harrower class uh, Dreadnought. Yep. Sixty interceptors, but I think there'll be a bonus afterwards like last time. I know when I'm gonna be uh, saving my EM Yeah, my EMP charge. No, sorry, not EMP, the jamming charge. I can finally breathe. Taking quite a bit of punishment. Try to get our shields up. Breathe. 
Oh Christ. Right. Activated the uh, jamming device. to destroy more interceptors. We've already completed the primary objective. It's a turrets on the Harrow. Alright, you've convinced me. Let's demolish that thing. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus. Sorry, friend. Ooh, we just managed to do it there. Just managed to get all 12 turrets. Yeah, if we didn't have that uh, jamming device, once you've done that first pass of the, uh, the Dreadnought there, all those, uh, Multiple waves of interceptors would really tear you apart. Hey, level 52. I can actually now get my level 52 item modifications if I want. Um, anything new here? Ooh, hello. Saber Reflect. So one minute cooldown reflects all direct single target ranged force and tank attacks back to the attacker for three seconds. The damage done by each reflect is capped and the cap rises with each new rank of the ability. Okay, that seems like a really good skill. I mean, it's three seconds, yes. But it's actually a skill that we can actually uh, make use of. It actually works well for our uh, lightsaber form as well, being a counter-attacking uh, lightsaber form itself. Okay, so let's have a look. 20 fleet commendations. Plenty of uh, plenty of operations available to us. Okay, uh, before we call it a break then, let's speak to Kira once again, see what she has to say. Oh yes, that was the last conversation we had. That whole Jedi aren't allowed to feel emotions rule, I don't get it. Sure, anger's bad, why cross off everything else? Anyone tell the troops they can't enjoy shore leave? Would we have a government if senators couldn't throw wild parties? They almost treat us like children. Pretty far past almost, don't you think? If we're expected to throw ourselves into the fire? Fine, let us off the leash. No reason we can't live it up a little before we die. that coin. Ah, I guess we're coming to a moment. Okay. So. Heads we have a relationship, and tails we don't. Okay. This is gonna go horribly wrong. So shut up. 
and start living. What do you know? The galaxy didn't end. We'll try harder next time. To be continued, tough guy. This could have been a mistake. Even the music's kind of in that. <laughs> One second, two seconds. The music itself's kind of. Quite <sighs> light hearted. It's like, you're not taking this seriously, are you? Despite it being a very serious subject. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, we'll have to have to see how that goes. I mean, the galaxy didn't end, but uh, everything we've been taught has uh, told us differently. We'll just have to see um, how deep the rabbit hole goes. But this has been Antwol. Thank you all for joining me with this interlude video. And when we come back, we'll be heading on to Alderaan for the final Republic research project that's underway there. And hopefully, uh, rescue Master Augustine. We haven't heard back from him yet. <sighs> we'll just have to see what happens there. Hopefully he's fine. And he's just um, undergoing radio silence for one reason or another, but... I guess we won't find out until we arrive. As I say, thank you for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, bye-bye now.